Hey there and welcome back to my channel. My name is Georgina and I'm the Honest Vocal Coach. And at the moment we are looking at Eurovision. It's so very close now. Today I am going to be looking at my predictions for the first semi-final. So if you've seen my channel recently, it's pretty much all about Eurovision. But don't worry, I'm not turning into just the Eurovision queen. I am going to still be doing my special diva stuff, including vocal battles, what the fair, and all the other stuff that you already like. It's just that time of year. Eurovision is coming, and I can't say that I'm not super excited, because I am. So this video is all about my semi-final the first semi-final predictions who I think's gonna stay and who I think's gonna go so I'm gonna go through them in order of when they're actually performing as part of the semi-final and it's it's just exciting news there are some countries who are already through to the grand final they don't even have to do the semis that is the Netherlands Germany Italy France Spain and the United Kingdom so let's take a look who I think is going to stay and who I think is going to go. So the first one on my list is Lithuania. The Roop. The Roop. I got the moves. It's gonna go. Now I love the Roop. I think they are so just niche they've got their own style and i adore them for it i love the use of dance routines as well as the actual songs being so absolutely quirky last year's song was probably a little bit stronger than this year's song if i'm completely honest so i think they're gonna stay so number two slovenia <laughs> I think the vocal is great. The song just isn't that memorable for me. That's the only unfortunate thing. So I think that potentially this could be one that leaves the competition. Number three is Russia. Now this song has been super controversial because some people have said that it's a little bit political. Now I can't really sort of, you know, put my comment in on that. I don't really know. Um, I think it's probably going to stay in the competition because it is quite a favourite. Number four is Sweden. Can you Now, I think this one's going to go, unfortunately. I think the performance is great, the vocal is great, but the song for me is just not strong enough. I think the song is a little bit weak, the lyrics themselves, it's not catchy enough. I have a feeling it's going to leave the competition. Number five is Australia. <laughs> Now this is an unusual one because this is the only country who are not going to be at the final. To me that just seems crazy. All that hard work um, to not want to be at the final. Now I completely understand that there is a Covid issue right now and people want to be as safe as they possibly can be. And obviously for Australia they must think it's a big deal to not want to travel. But how can you possibly miss going to the final of your Eurovision. I I just don't get it. Now I think this song is quirky but lyrically not that strong. I think her vocals are one of my favourite vocals. The riffs within it, so cute, so clever, but I have a feeling it's gonna leave the competition. North Macedonia number six. Yeah! Now this one, Here I Stand, I really like the song actually, I just don't think it's strong enough to continue on. So as much as, as I like it, I don't think it's as strong as some of the other songs, so I think it's gonna go. Number seven is Ireland. Ooh, 
You can always guarantee there's going to be a good song from Ireland. We love that traditional Celtic kind of sound. We just adore it. It goes back to, you know, when we had River Dance as part of the interval at Eurovision. It was something so incredible. We just have a soft spot for the Irish. Anyway, I actually think that this song... It's it's uh, it's a tricky one. I'm like on the fence right now with this one. Um, it could stay, it could go. It's a tricky one, so I'm gonna go with go. Number eight, Cyprus. Now this is quite controversial as well. Uh, the song itself, it's quite catchy, but it has been commented that it's very similar to another famous track. It's a bit maybe sampled or pinched, if you like. They've chosen to, to grab a few bits from another song. Now I don't hear that in it, but some certainly have. So I think that's gonna make a difference to whether it's gonna stay in the competition or not. But it is a strong song, essentially. So I've got it as a stay. Number nine, Norway. No, I'm a, I'm a now this song for me is probably one of the weaker songs. I didn't really connect with it. I had a great chat with Glitter Beam Radio yesterday uh, and he seems to think that this song is going to stay in the competition. He thinks it might actually be a winner. But for me, no, I think it's going to leave. Number 10, Croatia. TikTok. TikTok is super, super catchy. Although it's quite simple. Blah. Although it's quite similar to Set Me Free, the Israel entry. So I actually think that one of those is going to go rather than, you know, both of them. So I'm going to put my money on TikTok to stay. Number 11, Belgium. I adore this song. I think the maturity in it, the vocals in it, the whole concept of the actual song is pretty impressive. I think this one's gonna stay. Number 12 is Israel. <laughs> Now, I've already mentioned this. I think it's very similar to TikTok. It's going to be TikTok set me free. Which one are we going to have? So I'm thinking that out of the two, TikTok is that little bit stronger. So set me free or we'll leave. Number 13, Romania. I lost myself, trying to have it all. Self -love amnesia. Now, this is a really strong contender to win, I think. It's a superb vocal, superb song. The video is absolutely epic. I I think this one could do really, really well. So it's gonna stay. Number 14, Azerbaijan. <laughs> This one is Matahari. Now it has got similarities to some other songs um, and it's got a specific kind of, oh I can't really explain what it is but it's got a specific kind of style. Uh, there is a few similarities for me with Ariana and the hair and the way that the choreography has been done but I think it's a strong song and it's gonna stay. Number 15 is the Ukraine. <laughs> Shum. Now, I think this is going to go purely because it was reworked, revamped, re-everything. And how are people going to be affected by that? I think this is going to be, you know, an issue. Um, it was one thing and then it was pretty much a re-lyricked, reworked, redone, revamped, all of that into something else. Apparently it was too long as well, so they had to shorten the whole thing. And I don't know, I just... Ah, there's a specific type of singing uh, and it's quite brash and harsh and not everyone is going to enjoy that. So I have a feeling it might leave. Finally, number 16, Malta Destiny Jumacas. Excuse my French. Baby, it's 
Now, this is one of the bookies winners. Now, I actually think it's going to do incredibly well in the competition. I think we've got Switzerland up there. I think Romania is going to be up there. Uh, and I also think that Malta is going to be up there in that top three, top five, maybe. Uh, this song is so going to stay in the competition. So to just recap on the songs that I think is actually going to leave the competition from the semi-final is Ireland, Slovenia, Sweden, Australia, North Macedonia, Norway and the Ukraine. Now I may be wrong, I may be completely wrong, but these are the ones for me that are, that are, that are, that are on the fence. Are they good enough to continue through in the competition? I guess at the semi-final we'll find out. Now if you enjoyed this video, I have another prediction video coming very soon. It's going to be the second semi-final. I'm going to assess all of the songs, we're going to decide who's going to leave and who's going to stay. And and yeah, let me know your opinion on all of this. It's so exciting. I, I, ah, I so want to be there next year. In the UK, we have Graham Norton who does the narration over the top. I want to do that. I want to be that person. I'm just putting it out into the universe. I want to be in, f oh, France. Could be France next year. That's in the second semi final. But I, I could be going to France next year. Maybe Switzerland. Maybe Malta. Maybe Romania. Eek. I, I just ring me, let me know. I'm ready, I'm waiting. Give me the call. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I will see you in the next one. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you soon. Bye, loves.